back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another heatless style. This is using a bathrobe, tie, belt, string, whatever you want to call it. It was intriguing because it just looks so funny when you have it on your head. Like it's just, it's not a good look. And I've already tried it a couple of times and I really like it. Let's just jump into the video and I'm going to share exactly how I got these waves. I'll make sure to list the products down below that I put in my hair after I came out of the shower. But now that it's brushed out, you just want to break it down the center all the way down the back. And then you want to have two sections. So this is the front section and then this is the back section. And you just want to throw that back. This side is all in the front, so it's not gonna get mixed up. You wanna grab your bathrobe string. I like to use, this is from another one that I have, but this one, you guys can see it's definitely thinner than this one. This is much wider, so it's gonna give me a looser curl. So that's why I just like switch them out. What you wanna do is make sure it's even and then put it right in the center. So this side, I'm just gonna tie it with the little scrunchie just so it doesn't move around so all you want to do is grab a section and then bring it under the bathrobe right here grab another section right below it and then wrap one more time so just keep grabbing hair and twisting around the bathrobe tie Okay, so now that I've grabbed the entire section from the front piece, I'm going to start just wrapping it around and bringing it down to about here, like that. I like to take these thin elastics and tie this piece. And then grab back section so it looks like this and you kind of want to do the same thing but it's going to be going towards your face so grab the highest section like that this. when you bring it under grab a little bit more and you get through this one much faster so I'm already at the very bottom and then you start wrapping it towards your face and I make sure to leave some space in between because I don't want it to be too too curly but if you want like the tighter curl look then you can definitely wrap it just closer to each other and it'll give you that look. So it's kind of cool that you can like play around with it and it's all heatless, so that's the best part. So now I'm gonna tie this and that's it. That's all you do. Now I'm gonna start working on this side. The front section is in place. And then I'm gonna do the back section. I'm gonna turn this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing. I always go in with my Way texturizing hairspray, mostly at the bottom. And then I'm gonna use some of my hair oil to break up the curls. Okay, so this is what it looks like right away. And then I'm gonna come back tomorrow and show you what it looks like after the waves and the curls have dropped a little bit. Okay, so it's obviously the next day and you guys can see my hair has definitely fallen quite a bit. The tight curls that were especially at the bottom, like the inner part, 
have really blended in with the rest of the hair and this is actually the way that I prefer this hairstyle which is amazing that it looks even better the next day and all I do to kind of freshen it up I use a little bit of my oil and I just work it through the ends and this will give it more of like that PC look you can see the difference I like to just do this every single day. It just makes your hair look super healthy and shiny and it brings the hairstyle a little bit back to life so it's not as fluffy. But yeah, I really just wanted to share with you guys what it looked like the following day because this is like the peak. Second, third, fourth day hair on this hairstyle is my favorite. So for April, I actually haven't been using any sort of heat on my hair. I decided to do a little heatless challenge, but I think this is just such a beautiful base to begin with. And then if I want to touch up any pieces, which honestly I don't think I even would, but let's just say it's like a night out or if I just want to get a little bit more done up, I can just easily grab a few sections take my curling wand and just add more definition to some areas. So between this and another video that I've posted in the past where I share my heatless waves, I'm definitely just gonna keep doing either this one or that one or just like alternating because I really like the look of both of them. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do end up trying it, then definitely let me know how you like it down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you next time. I've even got a pack and now I'm all food for you. I love you, time and time again. I know just how the story ends up. Mm -hmm.